caught a fish here. Okay, so here's the interior of the tent. Um, right now I just have the mesh up. You can't see it in here, but um, it's just the mesh right now. I'll probably redo this at a later time so you can see more. But anyway, um, they have this little uh, mesh up here. I got my light inside. And then I kind of, for this fan, I drilled a couple holes where the feet should be. That way I can hook in this, uh, it's like a mini uh, bungee cord. And then, you know, I can kind of angle it down to point at me or whatever, and I can, you know, hold it flat so that it just points straight down. Um, so that's a cool little mod for that fan right there. Now one thing about uh, this mesh up here is that anything that you put on top, it's just going to fall right off of there because there's nothing holding it on. Even in this pocket, there's only, you know, obviously three sides. One is open. Um, already this light has already fallen out of this pouch, uh, almost hitting me in the face. Um, so you got to watch out for that. And then same thing on the other side. Uh, but as long as it stays in there, it's good. And then you can see I just got that on that hook in there. Now, I'm not a really big fan of these toggles, though. Um, when I was putting this thing together, those toggles uh, were getting pretty annoying. 
another thing that I'm not uh, a big fan of is the stitching. It's double stitched, but I still don't feel that uh, that's enough. It should be triple stitched probably. It's, it's got quite a bit of room in here. Um, I got all my gear on one side, and then I've got my uh, sleeping bag and my pool on, on the other. So I have the uh, door tied up. These little these little tie downs are pretty cool. Um, instead of just a toggle, you get like this push button, and then you can pull it as tight as you want and uh, squeeze it up there. So that works out pretty good. All right, one thing about this tent, you do not feel any air at all. So. I opened the two front doors right here, but you can see that it is holding up to a moderate amount of wind. Um, it's doing a really good job of it, actually. Now this isn't the windiest that I've seen it up here, um, but you know, it's definitely windier than other places. Now with those, do with, uh, those doors closed, you don't feel um, a breeze whatsoever. You don't feel anything, you know. It's uh, it's 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 kind of weird actually, because in other tents, you know, you'd feel something, but in this thing, nothing at all. And that's even with, um, you know, the mesh up, just nothing comes in. Um, so I'm pretty sure that this thing would definitely hold up to any sand coming in, especially if I close the uh, the other door. But that's the only downside is. Uh, the amount of heat that's in this tent. You really want to keep those doors open and you want as much wind coming through here as possible because it gets hot in uh, just this little little area. And now it's time for the rain test. Um, I got those doors closed about halfway. Well, because I really couldn't reach my arms all the way down there. I thought I'm sticking my head in the sand. So, yeah, I'm not even going to try. That's good enough. That'll work for me. I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of see the raindrops on that material. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, anyway. Turns out my, um... Uh, power supply doesn't work anymore so I couldn't charge them up uh, charge up my camera or more importantly this fan which is dead right now so it's a pretty nice morning out the tent did, uh, did pretty good last night as you can see, I've got both doors open, plus the mesh open in there. That's really the only way you're going to keep that thing cool enough to stay in during the day, because uh, it gets very hot in there with that sun beating down on it. Um, this tent's definitely going to protect you from the, uh, the wind and the rain and stuff like that. The only thing that it can't do nothing about is um, the sun, really. The sun is going to... The sun's gonna get you. You can see the sand on this side as well, especially over here. Now, to be honest, I don't even know how to use these little things. Um, what I ended up doing is just uh, just tying a knot around there, and then I would stick um, this end with the knot through here, and I would pull this up to to tension it. It's just looped around the stake. Um, I'm pretty sure that's probably not how it goes, but. You know, it works, it tightens it up. I'll have to figure that out later. Anyway, this is what it looks like with the doors done. Now, you can see that you stake out the bottom half of the doors. 
if you didn't do that, you could actually roll them up and tie them up back here if you wanted to. Alright, so that's what it looks like with both doors rolled back. That little strap does get annoying up front because, um, you know, that's where you want to put your feet at whenever you're sticking out, um, sitting inside the tent, but what can you do? It'd be nice if this piece right here rolled up as well, you know what I'm saying? Because then you can have the full, you know, um, a full open front on this, uh, rain fly right here. Once again, uh, you know, it is what it is. This side only, it looked like uh, there's sand on it. Probably because, um, what well, hell, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it.